Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a luxury haul. I'm sharing with you everything that I got from the My Teresa sale. I was concerned that my order wouldn't arrive in time, but it actually came super quickly, like within 24 hours, which is so crazy. So I'm sharing with you exactly what I got. I got five items from the sale. I'm only keeping four though, and I'll explain why in a second. But I'm also including one item that wasn't on sale, but it came in the same order. So I thought I would pop it in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. If you missed my my post about the sale it is still ongoing and it's 20% off your order in the US over $500 and it's 15% off your order in the UK and most of Europe over £500. It's not available on everything there is a landing page though where everything is included so I will put the direct link to that in the description section. I do also have a whole blog post with all of my picks so I will pop that in the description section as well if you did want to check it out. There are so many beautiful items included though including some of my favourites my Givenchy Antigona in the mock rock in the small size is included as are some newer favorites as well including my little Elmi bag which is just the cutest thing ever and my Marc Jacobs tote which has just been the best thing I've literally only been out kind of once a week for the grocery store I always bring this with me it's just the most useful thing and this one is also included in the sale it is live for one more week I think you do need a discount code to shop it and there are different discount codes for different countries so I will put all the details and the different discount codes in the description section so first up is this beautiful dress I got this is from DVF and I just thought it was the loveliest thing a really really pretty summer dress it is a navy one or at least a navy background and it has this beautiful kind of pink red and white it's kind of a floral print all over really really sweet it has these gorgeous little puff sleeves which are so adorable and then it's a v-neck as well it's kind of fitted around the bust area and then it flares out but not in an overly exaggerated way just in a really nice simple way so it's an a-line skirt just a really pretty one and then it zips up at the back i only own a few pieces from dvf but they've always done me really well and the items that i do have i've literally had for years because they're always so classic and i just thought this was the prettiest dress the next one is the one that I think I'm going to return. I do really like it. I was quite excited about it, but I tried it on and I showed Dan and he was like, you look like a milkmaid. And now I just can't unsee it. You know when someone just kind of says something about something you own or something you're looking at, and then you just completely change your perspective about how you look at it. And that exact same thing happened here. It's a fun one. Um, it's a beautiful kind of pink dress with a tiered skirt. And then you have these really sweet little off the shoulder sleeves, but yeah i just can't unsee the milkmaid thing now uh, let me know if you also see that but a pretty one but i think a return next up is a striped top i am always such a huge fan of a good striped top and i thought this was a beautiful version this one is from polo ralph lauren and i'm a huge fan of the polo ralph lauren line i feel like they've really evolved from doing only super preppy pieces to doing just really beautiful classic items so i always make it a point now to check out what they have and i saw this and i thought it was just such a beautiful iteration it is a knit one but it's not so heavyweight that you're not going to be able to wear this in the warmer months and just a very simple kind of navy and white stripe as a fairly high collar just little short sleeves and then you have that iconic polo ralph lauren logo right in the corner there in red so nice it fits really nice as well this one it definitely fits small so I did size up as per the instructions and I think it fits great and just a really really cute one and I especially like striped tops because I feel like it's such an easy way to look pull together without putting in any effort you know you just pop on a striped top some jeans and a pair of pumps and then you're just good to go and I thought this was a lovely version and then finally for my last clothing piece I have this sweater and I was umming and ahhing about this because it's more than I usually spend on sweaters and typically knitwear for me is an area where I like to save you know when I'm paying for expensive clothes I don't mind doing so if I feel like I'm getting great tailoring and fit but usually with knitwear I just don't feel like there's as much that can go wrong so I typically save on my knitwear but I wanted a shorter camel sweater and I've been struggling to find a nice quality one I saw this and it was included in the discount so I thought I'd give it a go and oh my goodness it's the nicest thing for a start it feels so soft and it is cashmere which is probably why but it is is so incredibly soft and just lovely to feel and the fit is really really lovely as well so it is a shorter one it's not overly boxy either just a really nice classic fit but versatile enough to team with both skirts and jeans which is exactly what I wanted has a nice neckline and it's a really really pretty shade of camel I swear before this sweater I never really understood paying for knitwear but this is a beautiful quality sweater and I've just been super impressed so big fan of this 
And then I have a pair of shoes here as well. These are from Valentino. Um, this is one of their kind of newest styles. I do have to exchange these. Uh, it did say on the website to size down, but I kind of feel like I've already been sizing down a little bit with pumps in general, so I didn't feel like I should size down again, but I totally should have. So I'm going to have to exchange these for a smaller size, but I will show you them nonetheless. So it has the dust bag, the little care card. And inside are a pair of pumps. How beautiful are those? I saw these and I thought they were so chic. I love the heel height as well. They're not quite a kitten heel, but they're not kind of full blown high heel. Just a really simple leather pair. You do have the new Valentino logo right there. I love the fact that it's the same color as the rest of the shoe. So it just looks a little bit more neutral because it is quite an obvious logo otherwise. And I thought these were lovely and they are quite comfy as well. I'm hoping that they're gonna be just as comfy when I size down because typically shoes are always very comfy if you size up. Um, but yeah, I am very, very excited with these. I thought these would be cute with dresses but also really good to dress up a pair of jeans as well. And yeah, just so, so happy with these. And then finally, I do have a bag which wasn't included in the sale. I do believe this model is, but in different colors and I wanted this specific color. So it is from Chloe, which I've not bought anything from Chloe in a really long time. I don't have any Chloe bags at the moment. And this is one I have mentioned on my channel before. And it's a style that I feel like I've been dithering over for years. And it's just one of those items which I've never pulled the trigger on. And I saw this color and I thought this one was it and i show you what it is. So it is the Mini Marcy. I've been looking at this bag for a while. Um, I couldn't find a color that I really liked enough to get. You know, I liked the gray, but I wasn't really sure. I loved the kind of minty green, but I did have a Chanel wallet on a chain in a similar color, which I didn't use, and I didn't want the same thing to happen again. And then I saw this shade, and I thought it was the perfect neutral, really pretty. They do do other shades of brown, but they're typically quite a dark brown or otherwise a really strong tan. Pan. And again, I just wanted something a little bit more muted and I thought this shade was just so lovely and for me This is just such a classic bag. I think it's one of the most classic styles Chloe does It's a really simple one So it just kind of opens up like so wide open space and so no kind of bells or whistles and you do just have these simple leather strap I kind of fell in love with this again when I saw it in the James Bond film where the female lead had the same bag and I just thought it looked so timeless and so effortlessly kind of chic and French and I just loved it. So I am planning on wearing this mainly with kind of crisp summer whites because I think that's really what makes it pop. But I am so happy to finally have this in my collection and of course to have another Chloe bag again. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will include links to everything in the description section but if you do have any questions for me then leave me a comment down below. As always thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.